Good morning. It is what time, bud? Oh, heck, I don't know. 8.30. 8.30. When you just dropped us off. Get on 8.30. And we're going to slack that 10 miles back to 91. We drove up McQueen Gap Road, and we, we drove up. <laughs> so he brought us way up here. We're up to 3,500 feet already. Yeah, I said I was glad I climbed out in the car, not on my legs. I'm um, feeling pretty good after 16. How about you? A little stiff, a little sore, but my hips are great. So yay for that. And uh, yeah, we're going to get this done. Get back to the campground. Get ourselves all pulled together. And tomorrow morning we head to Damascus. Well, um, I believe this is McQueen Shelter. It's a tiny one. Has to be raining pretty hard for me to want to sleep in that one. We have come a whole three tenths of a mile. Now we've come about a mile and a half. So Rich, tell them more about Nick Grindstead. He lived alone, he suffered alone, he died alone. That's what it says on his tombstone. But we did a lot more reading about him. And I don't think his life was quite that sad, but he did, they did find him up there. He was being guarded by his dog and he had passed. Um, but yeah, if you Google him, you can find out some more information about him. But that's where his, as they called it, hut, cabin, was. And he lived up there for a real long time. Um, this is a nice, easy section so far. We're going to be coming down to low gap in a couple of miles. But after yesterday, we're fine with easy. It's 10 o'clock. We've come 3.6. And we are about to cross low gap. Um, it's a good place to park and... To hike a section if you needed to or wanted to but we probably have another i don't know six and a half it's been real easy so far right boom. well there you go that's his profound statement for the morning <laughs> i've been sitting here trying to figure out if we could pick off something from fox creek north this afternoon or tomorrow Probably a terrible idea. Oh, stranger danger. Got a little bit of a view off through the trees. Um, we've been running into a lot of people uh, hiking Nobo and several people that we had spent some time with at Boots Off. Um, haven't found Kendi yet, but I think he was gonna stay at Double Springs, so we'll probably run into him too. And uh, we've got to climb to get up there. That's where all of our climbing's gonna be today. Have about another 700 feet at least. It's a beautiful day. Well, we ran into Kenny, and uh, he's gonna try to get to like two miles outside of Damascus and spend the night and then go in. I think he's taking a double. So we'll see him. Um, super nice guy. And uh, we've just kind of been doing a little climbing. We've got, I think 500 more feet to the shelter and then it'll be downhill to 91, but it's a really nice day, pretty trail. We saw a deer, um, he was pretty much across the trail before I got there, but it's first deer I've seen. And yeah, just enjoying it. I am coming into Double Springs Shelter. Uh, 7.1 from McQueen Road, according to my watch. I got a little ways ahead of Rich, so I'll have a little time to hang out. Looks like there's somebody here. It's a beautiful day. Have I said that like 18 times today? The cool bench back there, and I told Rich, you know, X, we followed her in 2018, I think it was, maybe 19, I don't know. She always said you had to sit on every bench you found. So he accommodated me and sat on the bench. We have probably a mile and a half to go. It's, I know, <laughs> all downhill, it really is pretty much. <laughs> Well, this is going to get interesting. Oh. We are, I know I saw the pasture, but looks like we have to go right in the middle of these cows. I hope they're amenable to uh, letting us pass through. <laughs> we'll pause it when we get here a little closer. We'll film the cows. Oh, look, they're all running. They're like hikers. Come on, let's go attack them. I'm totally not kidding. All the cows are coming over where we have to walk. 
I mean, I'm not generally afraid of cows. I was stepped on a cow by a cow one time when I was a kid, but this is gonna be interesting. He's back there. You can just pick up my body after they stomp on me. I mean, how do you politely ask a cow to get out of your way? I don't know. This is the kind of trail that Rich had so much trouble with. Um, oh, look at, yeah, he's like, oh, I'm late. Here come hikers. I, maybe they want your salt. I don't know. Yeah, we're going right, oh dear. There's, there's the blaze. Okay, so we veer from the cows just a little bit. Well, no, we veer over here a little bit. I feel a little better about it. I thought we had to go like right in the middle of the cows. Yeah. It's a lot of cows. I know the comments said to watch out for cow patties. Mm hmm. That would be correct. Yeah, well, there's the cows. Yeah. He's a big, he's a big guy. I think he might be a steer. No, maybe it's a cow. I, I don't know much about cows. Y'all be kind in your comments. So, okay, well, they seem pretty passive. No excitement. It is so pretty through here. It's a really nice field. That's where all the cows are hanging out back there. Um, I'm sure if Rich got peak finder out, he'd have field day figuring out what all that is. This doesn't suck, guys. I'm really glad we're back out here. Who knows how long it'll last. What? Sharp top. Oh, sharp top! Yeah. Right before my scratch shelter. Mount Rogers. Wow. How can those two even be close together? Oh, One's... You can't actually see Sharp Top. No way. It's in Georgia. I made Rich walk up here so we could take pictures of that sign. Now he says we're going to get ticks. I don't think we're going to get ticks. Ticky world. But we will have to do a tick check. Tick, tick, tick. Okay, I think we've had enough fun with the cows and the fields. <laughs> now, now we just need to get down out of here and go eat. Well, here we are. It is... May 30th at 8.30 at night, so it's hike or midnight. Baby girl here walked 10 miles in the woods today. I carried her water because I'm such a nice man. I just used a fanny pack. I, I really need to get some kind of a little pack that I can carry water because I didn't drink as much water since I had to go beg for it. But it was a nice walk. Yeah. We went from um, McQueen Road back to 91. So we were going southbound and we got to see a lot of people, which was fun. Yeah. Um, the cows were probably the highlight of my walk. <laughs> I'm easily Move. amused. I know. Well, I really thought we were going to have to go right to the middle of the cows. Cows. <gasps> well, and they were all running. It was very dis it was very unsettling. You know, there was a deer that jumped across the trail right at like 20 feet in front of Laurel. Uh, big, big deer. Yeah. And it, it was running. I, I was thinking there was something chasing it, but there wasn't really anything around. He was there. just running. He was out for a run. <laughs> but, so yeah, we're back at Switchback, and um, we were going to go down to the little raceway restaurant, but they closed early. So we took the snake back into Mountain City, and most every place was closed for Memorial Day, and so we ended up having pizza. Um but yeah, we're back here. We've got all our chores done. And in the morning, we're just going to get up and leisurely go to Damascus. Um, Larry and Kathy will be on their way down from New York. And we will all meet at Dancing Bear. And then we're going to have a week or so of just fun hiking. Yeah, about five days. Well, actually about seven days. Um, and I'm trying to find a shuttle right now. We were going to use the cars to go back to McQueen. Um, but... It's, the road's a little sketch. Yeah, it's gravel and it's pretty steep. And plus the time to come back and get the car, it's probably worth it to us to split the cost of a shuttle for the four of us. So yeah. I'm, I'm working on trying to find somebody to do that for us. Especially since they're going to be driving like 10, 12 hours tomorrow. Yeah. To get to Damascus. So, yeah. 
we just want to kind of simplify things as best we can for them. Right. And we're really looking forward to hiking with them. Um, they helped us a ton last year oh, in New York, New Jersey. Yeah. We had a great time with them and really looking forward to hiking with them. It's just going to be fun. Yeah. You know. But, you know, that's pretty much all there is. Um, tomorrow is not a hiking day, so there'll be no video. I've, I've taken to my approach at this point is not to film when we're not hiking. Cause... We got to know the owners of the, the Switchback Campground a little bit better today. A real interesting cat. Um, and this is a great place. I mean, it, it's perfectly located to, you know, you can slack a 20, 40, 50, you could do a lot you could go from hampton all the way to damascus I mean, from here but, but to be fair it's not really i don't think it's really through hiker friendly because it doesn't have a lot of the I mean, it's not like boots off or one of the other big uh hostels that has a store and a bunch of uh, amenities and stuff like that it's bare bones campground field shower um stuff like that but um, i think he'd probably drive you down to uh, the country store yeah, and I, that kind right. of stuff i mean you could get you could he would pick you up and bring you over here and get you a resupply and stuff like that It'd be really chill i'm very relaxing if you wanted to it's be a good place for zero honestly you know yeah just to get out of the hustle bustle. quiet peaceful uh beautiful place here really yeah. pretty it's been perfect for us especially because we had the car so we could pretty much do what we wanted but i guess that's it and uh we're gonna just you know, turn in early and have a fun, relaxing day tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Night, kids. Thanks for watching.